Hey guys, I'm T and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, we make trendy and fun crochet tutorials twice a week. And if you haven't already, smash that like button, drop a comment below, and subscribe to join in on the fun. This bundle of comfort you see here is sneaky. Wear it on the shoulder and you have a cute sweater fit for every occasion. But drop it off the shoulder and you've got a bit more modern spice for when you're feeling a little sassy. I'm curious what you guys think. Are you team on the shoulder or team off the shoulder? Let me know in the comments. I'm pretty partial to the off the shoulder look since I saw it in the mirror and I thought, yep. But I'm sure I'll change my mind at some point in the future. But for now, we've got other things to do, so without further ado. For this project, any category 4 yarn will work, but I used 450 grams of yarn, or that's 900 yards if you're stateside. As for tools, a 4, 5, and 5.5 five and millimeter hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There's a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. Watch the end of the video to learn how to enter this week's giveaway. We're using six stitches for this project, and they will be as follows. Chain. Slip stitch. Single crochet. Half double crochet. Double crochet. Treble crochet, and double treble crochet. This tutorial is for a size small, but you can adjust it for your size and we explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting this top started, we're first going to grab our category 4 yarn and make a slip knot. Next, we're going to grab our 4 millimeter hook and start off by doing some measuring. We're going to need to do some measuring in order to prep for our collar. So we're going to first measure from the point of our collar up to our collarbone, which for me is a total of eight inches or 20 centimeters. So I'm going to make that chain count, making sure that I end on an even number. So I have a total of 40 chains. And now what I'm gonna do is do an extra chain and then insert my stitch marker into there because that's going to be where our shoulder is. Then I'm going to measure across my chest from collarbone to collarbone. I'm going to chain 9 inches or 23 centimeters and we need to end on an even number as well. So from collarbone to collarbone I chained a total of 50. From here we're going to do an extra chain of 1 and then insert our stitch marker into there. And then I'm going to make another chain that reaches down to the point of my collar. And mine is going to be the same as my first chain, so I'm going to chain another 40. Okay, so I now have my very long chain, and from here I'm going to make my collar separate from this chain. We made this chain so we know how many rows to do and into what rows we're going to increase into. So keep these numbers in mind and we'll get started on our actual collar right now. So to get started on our slip stitch band, we're going to take our 4 millimeter hook and start off by making a chain the width that we want our band to be. I want mine to be about a half an inch or a centimeter, so I'm going to start off by making a chain of three. So when I have my chain, I'm going to block off my last chain to a chain of a one. That's our turning chain. And then into the chain that we blocked off, or the second from our hook, I'm going to go in with a slip stitch. Let's do the next one together. Insert your hook into that next chain, yarn over, pull through everything. Keep doing this going all the way down. And now that I'm at the end, I'm going to do a chain up of one and flip my work. And from here, we're now going to go in with back loop slip stitches. So insert your hook into that first back loop, yarn over, and pull through everything. Insert your hook into that next back loop together, yarn over, pull through everything. And we're going to continue with rows of back loop slip stitches until we have the same amount of rows as we had chains that we just made while remembering to insert our stitch markers into the same rows that our stitch markers are into for the chain. I'll meet you guys back when we have all that done. All right, so I am back and I've just finished up going in with my band and I do have the same amount of rows as chains that I made and also inserted my stitch marker into the same spots. 
And now we're going to seam crochet along the edge with our five millimeter hook. So to get this started, we are going to do some increases. So we're going to do a chain up of one and flip our work, which I already done my chain up of one. And into this first side slip stitch row, we're going to go in with an increase of two. So insert your hook into that first stitch that we have on top of this row with one single crochet. And then into that same loop, two single crochets. And then from here, we're going to be putting one single crochet into every side slip stitch row until we hit our stitch marker. So let's do the first one together. My next side slip stitch is this raised one. So I'm going to find that top loop and single crochet. And then my next one is this divot right here. So I'll find that top loop and then single crochet. And keep doing this until we hit our stitch marker. All right, so now that we have made our way down to our first stitch marker, we're going to go in with an increase of three single crochets into that loop. So go ahead and take our stitch marker out for now. And then into that next loop, go in with three singles. So there's one into that same loop, a second, into that same loop, a third. Grab your stitch marker, then insert it back into the second single crochet that we made or the middle of our increase of three. And from here, same rules apply. One single crochet into every side slip stitch row. When we hit our stitch marker, do an increase of three into there, and then put one single crochet into every side slip stitch row. I'll meet you guys back at the end when we have just one row left so we can go in with an increase of two. And now that we have single crocheted all the way down, we are now going to do another increase of two into this last row that we left. So insert your hook into that last row with one single crochet and into that same stitch, our second single crochet. And now that we have that, we are now ready to seam it up. All right, so this is what our work should be looking like once we have finished up going in with our single crochet row. And now we're gonna do an outside loop slip stitch seam together. So the first thing we're gonna do is sandwich our two ends together and switch out to our four millimeter hook. Once when they're sandwiched together, we're gonna insert our hook into that chain up one space that we have right before we started our single crochet. We're gonna yarn over and pull through everything. And from here, we're gonna be inserting our hook into the front loop of the first available stitch into our front panel. So insert. And then into the back panel, we're gonna be inserting our hook into that outside loop. So the one that's furthest away from us. Insert, we're gonna yarn over and pull through everything on our hook with a slip stitch. And we're gonna keep doing that until we don't have any more stitches left and then do a chain up of one and cut. Okay, so we are now ready to go in with our cable detail. We're first gonna to wanna to insert our stitch markers where we want the edges of our cable detail to be, and they do need to be done in increments of three. So as an example, I have my stitch markers into the 21st stitch away from the point of my collar. So if you want yours wider, Keep adding three to my 21 until you get your desired size or subtract by three if you want it smaller. And our cables are actually going to be done individually worked off the collar. So getting started on the first one together, we're gonna make sure that the point of our collar is faced away from us and we're all gonna get started on the right side together. All right, so getting started on the right side of our cable, we are all going to be inserting our hook into that same stitch that our stitch marker is in. We are going to insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through, and then do a chain up of two. That counts as our first half double crochet. From here, we're gonna be inserting two half double crochets into the same stitch that we're in. So yarn over, go into that same stitch with one half double, and then into that same stitch with another half double. We're going to slip stitch into the second stitch into the base to close off this row. So count up one, two, slip stitch into that second, slip stitch into the next stitch to work our way up to the next row, flip our work, put one single crochet into every stitch, remembering that chain of two counts as our first half double crochet, so we're going to have three single crochets. 
One, two, three. From here, do a chain up of two. Flip our work. This counts as our turning chain now. Put one half double crochet into that first stitch. Into the next two, we're going to do an increase of two half double crochets into each. Yarn over, put two half double crochets into the next stitch. Put two more half double crochets into the next. Slip stitch into the second stitch that we have into the base. Here's one, two. Slip stitch into the next stitch into the base. Flip our work. One single crochet into every stitch. Since we did two increases in the previous row, we should have five single crochets into this one. Flip our work. And now we can get started on our cable. So getting started on our row number five, or our first row of cables, we're going to start off by doing a front post double double crochet that is combined with a half double. So let's get that started. Yarn over one, two, three times. You're going to skip the first half double crochet, remembering that we're not counting that chain. Skip the first half double. Skip the second half double. Insert your hook into that third. Yarn over, pull through. We're going to yarn over and pull through two until we have just two loops left on our hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And now we have two loops. From here, we're going to yarn over, insert our hook into the first stitch from our previous single crochet row. Yarn over, pull through. We should have four loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through, all four loops. Into our next half double crochet in our previous half double crochet row, we're going to go in with another front post double treble. Yarn over one, two, three. Insert your hook into that next half double crochet, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two, 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 and two. Once we have that set, we're going to go in with another set of front post double treble crochets, working into the two stitches that we skipped from our previous row. So working back into that first skipped half double crochet, we're going to prepare by yarning over one, two, three times. Bring our hook back into that first half double crochet. Pull through. Pull through two, 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 and then two. And we have one more left to do, and it'll be done the exact same way. Turn over one, two, three. Insert your hook into that half double crochet, pull through, pull through two, 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 and two. We should have one half double crochet left into our previous half double crochet row, so we're going to be going into there with an increase of two front post treble crochets. So yarn over one, two times. Insert your hook into that last post, pull through. Pull through two, 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 into that same post, yarn over one, two times, and go in with one more front post treble. From here, we're going to put one half double crochet into the last stitch in the previous single crochet row. So yarn over, insert your hook into there, pull through, pull through three. So with every cable stitch row, we're going to be increasing by two. Once we have that, we're going to slip stitch into the second stitch into the base. Count up one, two, slip stitch. Slip stitch into the next stitch into the base. 
Look by work. We're going to single crochet down. We should have seven single crochets. Now that we're at the end, do a chain up of two. Flip our work. We're now going to do one front post treble crochet combined with a half double. So yarn over one, two times. We're going to insert our hook into that first post that we have in our previous cable stitch row. Insert your hook behind that post. Pull through. Pull through two. Pull through two. We should have two loops on our hook. Yarn over. Insert your hook into the first single crochet that we have in the previous row. Yarn over. Pull through. We should have four loops on our hook. Yarn over. Pull through all four. Next, we're going to do one front post treble crochet into the next stitch. Yarn over two times. Insert. Pull through. Pull through two, two, two. Now we're going to do another set of two front post double trebles, but we are going to skip the next two stitches. Yarn over one, two, three times. Skip these two, put one front post double treble into the next two stitches. Now that we have that, we're going to be doing another set of two front post double trebles going into the two that we skipped, but we're going to be working in that window that we just made. So we're all going to yarn over one, two, three times. Make sure that you are hanging on to your yarn because it can very easily fall off. And we are going to pull our work down, finding those two posts in that window. So we're going to pull this down as much as we can. There's our first post. There's our second post. We're going to go into that first post. So bring our hook back. And then do a regular front post double treble. And we have just one more, so let's do the next. Yarn over one, two, three times. Pull your work down. Do a front post double treble into that last post. And now that we have that, we are going to close this off by doing one front post treble crochet into that next stitch. So yarn over one, two times. Into that next available stitch. Pull through. Pull through two 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 and this will count as our pillar now we need to do our increase so into the last stitch from our previous row we're going to do a set of two half double crochets so yarn over into that last stitch go in with one half double and then go in with our second half double slip stitch into the second stitch into the base slip stitch into the next stitch to work our way up to the next row flip our work single crochet back we should have nine so we've just finished up going in with our single crochet row we're about to get started on our next cable stitch row and then from here our previous row and this row is going to be a repeat and from here we're going to introduce our alpine stitches so let's get started so to a chain up of two flip your work this row is going to be very similar to our first cable stitch row, so let's place through this together. From here, we're going to do a front post double treble crochet that is combined with a half double crochet, just like the first row. So yarn over three times. We're going to skip the first two and insert our hook into the third. And keep pulling through two loops until we have two loops left on our hook. And now that we should have two loops left on our hook, we're going to yarn over. Insert our hook into the first stitch from our previous row. Yarn over, pull through, pull through all four loops that's on our hook. And then from here, we're going to do another front post double treble crochet into that next stitch. Working into those two stitches that we skipped, another set of two front post double trebles. Next, we're going to go in with a set of two front post treble crochets into the next two available stitches. Once we have that, we are actually going to be going in with one more front post treble crochet, and that's going to act as our pillar that separates our cable from our alpine. From here, we can get started with our alpine. 
So we're going to start off by skipping seven stitches from our previous single crochet row. So I take a look at our previous row. We do want to make sure that we are counting this first stitch that we have double crocheted into. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Into the eighth, half double crochet. Into that last stitch, we're going to go in with one front post double crochet. So yarn over, insert into the last stitch in the previous row, pull through, yank up, pull through two, pull through two. When we have that, we still need to do our increase of two for our cable rows. So we're going to do an increase of two half double crochets into that last stitch. And now that we have our two half doubles, slip stitch into the second stitch into the base to close off this row. Slip stitch into the next stitch into the base to work our way up to the single crochet row. Put one single crochet into every stitch. We should have 11. All right, so we have just finished up going in with our single crochet, and we are about to get started on our 11th row. Now this cable is actually going to be a complete repeat of our row number seven cable. So I will have that linked in the description, but go ahead and get that one done. Then I'll meet you guys back just so that we can do the outline together. All right, so our cables are now finished up and we're going to get started on our outline. So the next thing we're going to do is go in with a front post double crochet into that next post that we have. So yarn over, insert your hook into that next half double. Yarn over, pull through, we're going to yank up, pull through two, pull through two. From here, we're going to go in with our half double crochet, but we are going to have to count eight stitches from our previous single crochet row. Make sure that you're counting that half double crochet as our first stitch, and then count out eight, insert your hook into the ninth with a half double crochet. Once we have that, I'm going to do one front post double crochet into the next. So insert your hook, yarn over. Pull through, yank up, pull through two, pull through two. Next, we're going to, to skip one stitch from the previous row and then half double crochet into that last. And then from here, we need to do our increase. So we're going to do another front post double and half double crochet set. And that's all going to be done into the last stitch. So yarn over into that very last stitch, yarn over. Pull through, yank up, pull through two, pull through two. And then my last half double crochet is going to be going into the same stitch that our last half double crochet is coming out of. Because remember, we're increasing by two every cable stitch row. And once we have that, slip stitch into the second stitch into the base to close off this row, slip stitch into the next, flip our work, and then single crochet all the way down. You should have 13. All right, so we have just finished up going in with rows 1 through 12 together. The rest of this section will be a repeat of rows 9 through 12, and I will have those timestamps linked in the description. And just remember, we will be doing an increase into every cable stitch row until we hit our middle point of our collar. So go ahead and get those guys done, and then we can get started on the left side together. All right, so the right side of our cable is all finished up. We are now all going to get started on our left side. It's going to be very similar to the right, basically the same thing, but mirrored. So the first thing that we're actually going to have to do is insert our hook into the second stitch away from our stitch marker. So since my stitch marker is in here, I counted up one, two, inserted my hook into there. From here, we're going to insert our yarn onto our hook. Pull through. And then from here, we're going to half double crochet into that stitch that our stitch marker is in. And we're going to be going in with three half double crochets. There is three. Once we have that, we're going to do a chain up of one, flip our work, put one single crochet into every stitch. Now that we're at the base, we're going to be slip stitching into the next available stitch that we have into the base to close off this single crochet row. So insert with a slip stitch 
In order to work our way up to our next row, we're going to be slip stitching up the next two stitches. So, slip stitch one and slip stitch two. Flip your work. From here, we're going to go in with one half double and then an increase of two half doubles into the next two stitches. Now that we have that row, do a chain up of one, flip our work, and single crochet into every stitch. Slip stitch into the next available stitch to close off our single row. Slip stitch up the next two, and we can get started on our cable row. So now that we're here, we're ready to get started on our row number five, which is our first cable stitch row. So it's going to be the same thing that we have on the other side, but mirrored. So we're going to get started with one half double crochet. Turn over, insert your hook into that first stitch with a half double. Next, into that first half double that we have in the previous row, we're going to go in with an increase of two front post treble crochets. So yarn over twice. Into that first half double, pull through, pull through two, 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 and then one more into that same stitch. From here, we're going to skip the two stitches from our previous half double crochet row and go into the next two with a set of two front post double trebles. So yarn over one, two, three. Skip these two, go into that second to last with a front post double treble, and then one more into the stitch right after that one. Now that we have that, we're going to be going in with another set of two front post double trebles, but working into the window. So pretty much the same thing as the other side. So you're in over one, two, three. Hang on to your work. Pull your work down. Find those two stitches in that window and put one front post double treble into that first one. Now going into the last one, it will be combined with a half double crochet. So same deal. You're in over one two, three. Insert your hook into that last half double crochet that we have in our window. Pull through and keep pulling through two until we have two stitches left. Yarn over once. Insert your hook into the last stitch from our previous row. Pull through. Pull through four. Do a chain up of one, flip our work, put one single crochet into every stitch. Now that we have single crochet down, we're going to slip stitch into that next stitch into the base to close off our single crochet row. And then we're going to be slip stitching up the next two to work our way up to our next row, which is our row number seven. Flip our work. We're going to get started by doing an increase of two half double crochets. Yarn over. Insert your hook into that first stitch with two half doubles. From here, we're going to do one front post treble crochet. This is going to be our pillar for this side. So you're in over one, two times. Insert your hook into that first stitch that we have. So our half double in our previous row. Pull through, pull through two, two, two. We're going to prepare for a set of two front post double trebles. So we're going to yarn over one, two, three times. We're going to skip these next two, go into the two after that. And then there's two. We have another set of two front post double trebles to do, but now we're going to be working into those two stitches that we skipped. And now that we're here, we're going to close off by doing a set of two front post treble crochets. But the last one will be combined with a half double. And then getting started on the next one, yarn over twice. Into that last one, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. Now that we have two loops on our hook, yarn over, insert your hook into the last stitch from the previous row. Pull through. We should now have four loops on our hook. Yarn over. Pull through all four. Do a chain of a one, 
flip your work, put one single crochet into every stitch. All right, so I have made my way down my single crochets, slip stitch it into the next stitch, and then I also slip stitched into the next two available stitches to work my way up to the next row. I flipped my work, and now we're going to get started on our row nine. We're going to start this row off by doing an increase of two half double crochets into the first stitch, and then two half doubles into the first half double crochet. We're going to go in with a front post double crochet, yarn over, insert, pull through, yank up, pull through two, pull through two. We're going to do another half double crochet, so yarn over. Skip one stitch in the back, half double crochet into the next. We're now going to get started with our cable stitch section, but we're going to start this off with our pillar. So that is going to remain a front post treble crochet. And to get started on the cable, we're actually going to be doing a set of two front post treble crochets after that. So a total of three. And now that we have our pillar and our set of two front post treble crochets, we're going to skip the next two into a set of two front post double trebles into the next two. And now we're going to go in with another set of two front post double trebles working into the window that we just made. So since we already know how to do that, I'm just going to talk you guys through it. You're going to yarn over three times to your first front post double treble into that first stitch that we have into our window. And then we're going to start off by doing a front post double treble into the last. And we're going to keep yarning over and pulling through two until we have two stitches left because it's going to be combined with a half double crochet. Okay, and now that we have two loops on our hook, we're going to yarn over. Insert your hook into the last stitch from our previous row, pull through, yarn over, pull through all four. Do a chain up of one, flip our work, put one single crochet into every stitch, slip stitch into the next stitch to close off this row, and then slip stitch up the next two into the base to work our way up to the next row. So getting started on our 11th row, we're going to go in with one half double crochet, yarn over, put one half double, and then into the first stitch from our previous cable row, go in with one front post double. So yarn over, go into that first half double, pull through, yank up, pull through two, pull through two. And from here, since we are mirroring our row 11 from the other side, we're going to insert our next half double crochet into the same stitch that our first half double crochet is coming out of because the half double and the front post double we just did is the increase on the other side. So it's the increase on this side. So prepare for a half double into that same stitch that this is coming out of. So the first stitch from our previous row, insert, pull through, pull through three. And then we're gonna do another front post double crochet. So yarn over, go directly into that next available stitch. So the one that our previous double crochet is coming out of. Insert your hook into there, pull through, yank up, pull through two, pull through two. Or from here, we're going to prepare for a half double crochet. Skip one stitch from our previous row, half double crochet into the next. And then we have one more set of this. So yarn over, front post double, yank up, pull through two, pull through two, skip one stitch, half double into the stitch after that. And now we're going to get started on our cable, and it's going to start off with our pillar. So one front post treble. Once we have our pillar, we're going to skip the next two stitches, go in with a set of two front post double trebles, yarn over three times, skip these two, go into the next two, putting one front post double treble into each. Now we're going to work back into those two stitches that we skipped, putting one front post double treble crochet into each. Now we're going to close off with a set of two front post trebles, but the last is combined with a half double. So for the last one, keep pulling through two until you have two stitches left. Yarn over, insert your hook into that last stitch, yarn over, pull through four. Do a chain up of one and flip. Put one single crochet into every stitch. All right, so we have just finished up with going through rows one through 12 together for the left side. And the rest of this, just like the other side, is going to be a repeat of rows nine through 12. 
Those links will be in the description if you guys need a refresher. Just remember, we're going to be increasing into every cable stitch row. And go ahead and get that done. Once when we are flush with the rest of our work, I'll meet you guys back so we can go in with the main portion of our cable. All right, so finishing up the last row of the left side of my cable, I'm going to do a chain up of one. And since everything is nice and flush, I'm going to work my way across, putting one single crochet into every stitch until we reach this other corner. All right, so we just worked our way down until our work is flat-ish. And <laughs> from here, we're going to do the next two detail rows with you guys. And the rest of this section will be a repeat of those two rows. So my first cable stitch section is going to start with my repeat of row 11. If yours starts with your repeat of row 9, that is completely fine. Do whichever cable is next in your sequence, but I will meet you guys back when we're ready to get started on our alpine section. If you guys have any questions at all, go ahead and leave a comment down below or say hi. So now that our cable is done, we're going to get started on our alpine section. So whatever row we're on is going to be different, but we're going to take a look at whatever stitch we have in the previous row and do the opposite. So as an example, if your first stitch right after your cable is a half double, you're going to put a front post double crochet into there. Or if it is a front post double crochet, you're going to put a half double crochet on top of that. And we're going to keep doing that until we are right at the middle of our work because we're going to have to do a decrease. And once we have made our way down to where our right and our left panel meet, we're going to do a decrease. So my next stitch is a half double. So we're going to prepare for a half double, still skip one stitch, insert, pull through, insert into that next stitch, pull through. We're going to yarn over, pull through all four of those stitches. And from here, we're going to continue like normal. If your decrease was a front post double crochet, that is fine as well. Go ahead and get that done. And then close this row off with your cable stitch section. And then I will meet you guys back just to talk you guys through the rest. All right, so I am back and I've actually finished up the previous row that we were on together and then the next cable stitch row as well, just to give you guys a visual what it's supposed to look like. But we're just going to be repeating these two rows until we end up getting the length that we need for our top. Keep in mind that we will have a bottom band as well. So go ahead and get this entire section done just repeating those rows. All the timestamps will be in the description. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment and then I'll meet you guys back. All right, y'all. So I am back and I have just finished up going in with the length that I want my sweater to be. And just going from that first single crochet row where everything is connected all the way down from where I finished, I have a total of 40 rows. And from the point of my collar all the way down, that's 11 and a half inches or 29 centimeters. And from here, once we have that, we can now get started on our side panel. So what we're first going to do is switch out our hook to our five and a half millimeter hook. And since we should already be at a corner, what we're going to do is work up, putting two single crochets into every side half double crochet, working our way all the way up to the collar. So let's do the first few together. This is my first side half double crochet right here. So go in with one, go in with two. Skip our single crochet row, find our next side half double, and then go in with one, go in with two. And keep doing that going all the way up. I'll meet you guys back at the end of this row. All right, so now that we have worked our way all the way up with our single crochet row, we're now going to slip stitch it into that next available stitch into the collar. So into that next single crochet, we're just going to slip stitch into there to close off this first single crochet row. Next, we're going to slip stitch up the next two to work our way up to our half double crochet row. So there's one, there's two. We are going to flip our work and into our half double crochet rows, we're going to be doing an increase because we're going to be alternating between half double and single crochet. So let's just do the increase together and I'll let you guys do the rest on your own. So yarn over. Insert your hook into that first back loop. Yarn over, pull through, pull through three. That's our first half double crochet. Insert your hook into that same back loop. And that is our increase. From here, put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. When we reach the bottom, do a chain up of one. Flip your work and put one back loop single crochet into every stitch. And then we're just going to connect it into the base the same way that we just did. 
So only increasing into our half double crochet rows. I will meet you guys back once we make our way down to our shoulder stitch marker and then we'll do the shoulder portion together. All right, so we are back and we have just made our way all the way up to our shoulder stitch marker with our side panel. My last row was a row of back loop single crochets and that went directly into that stitch that my stitch marker is in. From here, we're gonna do rows of back loop half doubles and back loop single crochets until we get a shoulder chunk the size that we want. So all we're gonna do from here is do a chain out of two. There's one, there's two. Flip our work, put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. Once you reach the end, do a chain up of one, flip your work, and put one back loop single crochet into every stitch. And keep going back and forth like that until we get a shoulder portion the size that we want. And we wanna make sure that we're meeting each other on the bottom half so that we can work our way up with our underarms together. All right, so we are back and I have just finished up going in with my shoulder portion. I just ended up doing an addition of three rows off my body and we did end along the bottom. From here, we're gonna get started with our underarm portion. So I inserted my stitch marker where I want my sleeve to start. So from the top counting down, I inserted my stitch marker into my 22nd stitch or that's six inches or 15 centimeters, but you guys go ahead and adjust from there. From here, I'm gonna work my way up with back loop single crochets until I'm two stitches right before my stitch marker because we're gonna decrease together. All right, so we are two stitches away from our stitch marker, so let's decrease together. Insert your hook into that second to last back loop, pull through, into that last back loop, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And now we're gonna do our half double crochet row starting with a decrease. So do a chain up of two and flip your work. We're gonna start this row off by doing a decrease. So yarn over, insert your hook into that first loop, pull through. Next back loop, pull through, yarn over, pull through all four. And put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch making your way down. I'm actually just going to have these two rows for my underarm, but if you guys want to keep going, that's completely up to you guys. But I'll meet you guys back once we have this side all finished up. All right, so we just got finished up going in with one of our side panels and we're going to do the next one. Well, I already have mine done. I'm just gonna show you guys where we're going to insert our hook, but everything else is going to be done exactly the same. So what we're going to do is insert our hook into the bottom corner. And then we're going to do everything else exactly the same. So single crochet up, do half double crochets, back loop single crochets, keep going, repeat the same shoulder portion and underarm portion, do a chain up of one and cut, and then we'll get started on the back together. All right, so we have just finished up going in with our side panels and our entire front panel is all finished up. We are now going to get started on our back panel. As you guys can see, I already have mine started off but I just wanted to make sure that I had all the correct numbers and rows for you guys. So as of right now, we're gonna pretend that this wasn't here. So the first thing we're going to do is find the two middle stitches that we have for the back piece of our collar. We should have two middle stitches since we made everything with an even number. Once when we have found those two, which mine is into the 26th and 27th, by the way, if you guys have my numbers, we are now going to take the same amount of stitches that we made for our shoulder, and then we're going to make a chain of that amount. So for me, that was a total of 61. So I'm gonna insert my hook into the stitch that my stitch marker is into, just one of them, and start off by making that chain count. Now that we have that chain count, we're gonna block off that last chain to a chain up of one. That's our turning chain. And then into the chain that we blocked off for the second chain from our hook, we're gonna go in with a single crochet. Put one single crochet into every stitch, and I'll meet you guys back at the base. All right, and now that we have made our way down with our single crochet row, we're gonna slip stitch it into the next available stitch into the base. So insert your hook into that next stitch with a slip stitch to close off this first row. And then we're gonna slip stitch up the next two stitches to work our way up to the next. So there's one, there's two. Let's flip our work. And then we're gonna go down putting one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. And we're gonna keep alternating between back loop singles and back loop half double crochets with no increases, no decreases, until we hit our stitch marker over here. 
Once when our stitch marker is reached, we are then going to go in the same amount of shoulder rows as we have as our front panel. And then I will talk you guys through doing the underarm portion together just one more time. All right, so back panel plus shoulder rows all finished up. We are now going to do the same underarm portion as we have as the front panel. So insert your stitch marker into the same stitch, work your way up and decrease into the two stitches right before our stitch marker. Keep going until we have the same amount of rows as our front panel. Do a chain up a one and cut, and then I'll meet you guys back. Okay, so back panel number one, all finished up. I'm gonna show you guys how we're going to get started on our second, and then everything else is gonna be done exactly the same. So we are first going to insert our hook into the bottom corner stitch right here, making sure we're going in through that back loop. Insert your yarn onto your hook, pull through. We're going to start off by just making our way all the way up with back loop single crochets. I'll show you guys how we're going to connect it into the base because it's going to be a little bit different and then y'all can just blaze on through the rest. Okay, so we have just made our way all the way down with our single crochet row for our back panel number two. Like I said, we're going to be connecting it in a little bit differently. So all that is, is we're going to skip the next available stitch so the next stitch that our stitch marker is in and we're actually going to slip stitch into the next one and we're doing that because on the other side we have a chain and then our single crochet slip stitch if we go directly into this one then we're going to end up having one extra stitch on this side which isn't what we want so like i said we're going to skip this stitch slip stitch into the next one fold nice and tight so that there's no gap and then everything else will be done exactly the same slip stitch into the next two stitches do back loop half double crochets down I'll meet you guys back once we have the entirety of our back panel finished up. All right, so we are back and we have just finished up going in with the entirety of our back panel. And now what we're gonna do is seam up the sides and the shoulder. We're gonna get started on our side first. The first thing that we're gonna wanna do is make sure that our cable is flipped inside out because we want our seam to be along the inside of our work. What we're gonna do is insert our hook into this corner stitch and then into the corner stitch of the back panel, insert your yarn, pull through, do a chain up of one. And from here, we're going to single crochet going in through the front and the back panel at the same time. So insert your hook into that next available stitch into the front panel, insert your hook. Into that next available stitch into the back panel, insert your hook. And we're going to single crochet them together. Let's do just one more. Insert your hook into the next available stitch into the front panel. Next available stitch into the back panel. And then single crochet. And keep doing this going all the way up. When we don't have any more stitches left, do a chain up of one and cut. Now that we've just seamed up our side, we're now going to seam up our shoulder. The first thing we're going to do is insert our hook into those two stitches that our front and our back panel is coming out of for the collar. So my front panel's coming out of this stitch, insert, and my back panel's coming out of this stitch, pull my hook through, and we're doing that to eliminate any gaps that may be happening. From here, we're gonna insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through, do a chain up of one. And we're going to do pretty much the same thing that we did for the sides, except there aren't any actual loops for us to go into. So we're just gonna be putting one single crochet into every side row that we have. So this is my first side row that I have right here. So I'm going to insert my hook into there, find the first side row that we have for the back panel, insert your hook, and single crochet. Find the next, find the next in the back panel, and single crochet. And keep doing this, going all the way down, do a chain up of one and cut when you don't have any more left to go into, and do the same thing on the other side. All right, so we are back, and now that we have our shoulder and our sides all seamed up, we are next gonna go in with our cap sleeve before we go in with the length. So the first thing that we're gonna do is insert our hook into the stitch that's next to our side seam. So find that stitch, insert your yarn onto your hook, pull through, do a chain up of one. And from here, we're gonna be putting two single crochets into every side row that we have. So since I have two, I'm gonna have a total of four single crochets. So to do this together, Insert your hook into that first side row with one, and then into that same loop with two. 
and then I have just one more, so I'm going to do that again. Go ahead and keep doing that for as many side rows as you guys have. From here, I'm going to be putting one single crochet into every stitch, going up and over, and then going back to putting two single crochets into my side rows. I'm going to slip stitch into that chain up of one space, and then I'll meet you guys back. Now that we have single crocheted all the way around, we are now going to do a row of half double crochet, but we are going to start it with some single crochets. And we're doing that so that the top portion over here can look like it's spilling over our shoulder without it getting too bunchy along the bottom. So what we're going to do is do a chain up of one and flip our work. And I'm going to be going in putting one back loop single crochet for as many single crochets as we had going into our side rows. So like I said in the previous clip, I have a total of four. So right now I'm going to go in with four back loop single crochets. Once I have my single crochets, I'm going to do a decrease of two back loop single crochets into the next stitch. So insert, pull through, insert, pull through, yarn over, pull through three. From here, we're going to go in with our back loop half double crochets going all the way around, but we want to leave our stitches so that we can repeat our decrease and then back loop single crochets. So what I'm going to do is count out six stitches on this side and insert my stitch marker. I'm counting out six because I have four and then our decrease takes up two stitches. So let's count out one, two, three, four, five, six. And from here, go ahead and put one back loop half double crochet until we hit our stitch marker. All right, so now that we have made our way all the way around with our singles, decrease singles and half double crochet row, we're now going to do a chain up of one, flip our work and then put one back loop single crochet into every stitch. And we're gonna keep alternating between a single crochet row and then a half double crochet row where we repeat the same thing that we just did until we get a spillover that we like. So I'm going to keep going until I have a total of five rows and then I'll meet you guys back so we can go in with our sleeve length. All right, so I am back with my five rows for my cap. And from here, I'm going to make a chain the length that I want my sleeve to be, keeping in mind that we will have a longer cuff as well. So I'm going to start off by making a chain of 55 and that's roughly 16 inches or 41 centimeters. Now that I have my chain, I'm going to block off my last chain. Do a chain up of two. That's my turning chain. From here, we're going to yarn over and then insert our hook into that chain that we blocked off or the third chain from our hook with a half double crochet. Put one half double crochet into every chain. And now that we've half double crocheted all the way down, we're now going to connect it into the base. So we're going to count up one, two available stitches, and slip stitch into that stitch to close off our half double crochet row. And to start up our next row, we're going to slip stitch up just one stitch, flip our work, and put one back loop single crochet into every stitch. When we make our way to the end, do a chain up of two, and then back loop half double crochets. And keep alternating between those two rows until we don't have any more stitches left, and then I'll meet you guys back so that we can seam it up. Alright, so we are back and we have just finished up going in with the entirety of our sleeve, and now we're going to seam up the bottom. The first thing we're going to want to do is make sure that our work is slipped wrong side out, meaning our cable is on the inside because we want all of our seams on the same side. Once we have that, we're going to insert our hook into the corner stitch into the front panel and into the corner stitch into the back panel. And since I did a cut, I'm going to insert my yarn, pull through, do a chain up of one. And from here, we're going to single crochet into the front and into the back panel at the same time. So into that first available stitch into the front panel, insert into that next available stitch into the back panel, insert, and then single crochet like normal. And we're going to keep doing this going all the way down until we don't have any more stitches left. All right, so we have just finished up seaming up our entire sleeve, and from here we're ready to get going with our cuff. So we're going to be switching back out to our five millimeter hook. We're going to insert our hook into the bottom of our sleeve, and then we're going to be putting one single crochet to every side row that we have. So insert your hook into one of these stitches, insert your yarn onto your hook, pull through, do a chain up of one. This is my first side row right here. So I'm going to find that top loop and single crochet. And this is my next side row. So find that top loop and single crochet. Keep doing this going all the way around 
slip stitch into that chain up one space and then I'll meet you guys back. And now that we've single crocheted all the way around, we're now going to make a chain the length that we want our cuff to be. I want my cuff to be a little bit longer, so I'm going to start off by making a chain that's 6 inches or 15 centimeters, or that comes out to 25 chains. Now that we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain and do a chain up of 3. That's our turning chain. From here, yarn over and insert your hook into that chain that we blocked off or the fourth chain from our hook with a double crochet. Put one double crochet into every chain. And now that we've put one double crochet into every chain, we're now going to slip stitch it into the second stitch into the base. So we're gonna count one, two, slip stitch into that second stitch. And that closes off our first double crochet row. We need to work up to our next double crochet row, so slip stitch into the next two stitches. There's one, there's two, and flip our work. From here, put one back loop double crochet into every stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook into that first back loop, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. Put one back loop double crochet into every stitch. When we get to the end, do a chain up of three, flip our work, and bring your work back down, putting one back loop double crochet into every stitch again. Connect it into the base the same way that we just did. And I'll meet you guys back when we don't have any more stitches left so that we can seam our cuff up together. Alright, so we are back and we have just finished up going all the way around with our back loop double crochets for our cuff. What we're going to do from here is seam it up the same way that we have seamed up everything else so far. We just want to make sure that our work is flipped wrong side out so that all of our seams are facing the same direction and let's do the first one together. We're going to insert our hook into the first available stitch into the front panel and then the first available stitch into the back panel. We're going to yarn over and pull through everything. From there we're going to insert our hook into that next stitch into the front and also into that next stitch into the back. Yarn over, pull through, Yarn over, pull through two, and keep single crocheting going all the way down. We don't have any more stitches left to chain up a one and cut and repeat everything that we did here on the other side. All right, so we have just finished up going in with both of our cuffs, and the last thing that we're gonna have to do is go in with our bottom band. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is insert our hook into the side near where our seam is. Insert your hook with your five millimeter hook. Insert your yarn onto your hook, pull through, and we're going to make our way all the way around just like our cuff, putting one single crochet into every side row and then into every stitch we have along the bottom right here. Now that we've made our way all the way around, we can now go in with the length of our bottom band. And I want mine to be about two and a half inches or eight centimeters, so I'm going to start off by making a chain of ten. Once we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain to a chain up of three. That's our turning chain. Prepare for a double crochet. Insert your hook into that chain that we blocked off with a fourth chain from our hook with a double crochet. Put one double crochet into every chain. And now that we have double crocheted all the way down our chain, we're now going to slip stitch it into the second stitch into the base. So count up one, count up two, slip stitch into that second stitch to close off this row and slip stitch into the next two to start up the next. So there's one and there's two. Flip your work. Put one back with double crochet into every stitch. When we get to the end, do a chain up of three, flip our work and put one back loop double crochet into every stitch, making our way down and we're going to connect it into the base the same way that we just did. And we're going to keep doing this going all the way around until we don't have any more stitches left. And then I'll meet you guys back. And now that we've made our way all the way around, we're now going to seam it up. It's going to be the same way that we've seamed up everything so far. So insert your hook into the first available stitch into the front panel. Next available stitch into the back panel. Yarn over and pull through everything. Do a chain up of one. Just to do the first one together, we're going to insert our hook into the first stitch into the front panel and then into the next stitch into the back panel. 
and then we're going to single crochet. We're going to keep doing that, going all the way down until we don't have any more stitches left, do a chain up of one and cut. All right, and now that we have just finished up going in at the bottom pan, our piece is all finished. The last thing that we have to do is weave in all of our ends. Ooh, okay, y'all still with us? We wove in our ends and our sweater is all finished. We haven't done a long form video like this in a really long time and I kind of missed it. But anyways, our sweater couldn't have turned out more perfect. The color and the simplicity of the stitches are a killer combination and I'm really, really excited to share this with you guys. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. Enter this week's pattern giveaway by telling us something that you're excited for. Good luck to everyone who enters. Also, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up because believe it or not, it actually helps. And be sure to share us on Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook. Those links are down below. Link to our Etsy page is down there too if you want to buy this piece or any other piece on the channel. And be sure to favorite the shop so you don't miss out on new patterns and exclusive deals. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.